My name's Jason Ladani, and I'm the world's greatest card cheat. I was born in upstate New York. I had one of those families that uh, just was constantly moving into new homes. We lived in these really empty apartments that didn't have very much furniture at all, so I could kind of put two and two together, even at five and six years old, that we didn't have very much money. My dad would change jobs frequently. He was uh, through and through a hustler, 100%. One of my first experiences was we went into a shoe store. He'd say, I want you to look out for anybody that works here. <laughs> and while you're doing that, I'm going to put my old shoes in that shoe box and put the new shoes on my feet. And we walked out the store. And I remember thinking, like, are you just supposed to pay for those? The very first card trick I ever saw came from my older brother. Michael took four jacks, I'll use aces for this, uh, placed them in different places in the deck. And there was no denying, you could see those cards go back into four separate uh, places into the deck. They were all separate, and they were pushed in like this. And um, all he did was simply give the cards a quick shuffle, gave the cards a quick cut, and I couldn't believe how all four aces made their way back to the top of the deck. It blew my mind. I had no idea how he could possibly be doing this. And I said to myself, I'm gonna dedicate my life to figuring out how he did that, and I did. So after he showed me that trick, I went down and started reading magic books. In 1986, I checked out like 10 magic books. I was immediately fascinated by the sleight of hand card tricks. I never returned them, so there might be some late fees. I read all those tricks in those books, and for the next 10 to 15 years, I tried to fool my brother. And it became like a full-time obsession. It really is an obsession. I had to be the best card cheat in the world. Little did I know where it was gonna take me. Uh, this is something known as a peak, all right? So a lot of people ask, how do I know what cards I'm gonna get if the deck is fully shuffled and you can't have any prior knowledge of any cards? Well, it's called peaking. So here is a typical game, five-handed. And watch what happens when I deal the flop. I'm gonna take advantage of knowing what the turn is gonna be and the river's gonna be. So here's the burn card that goes down. And I'm gonna deal three cards for my flop. And then in the act of turning this face up, I'm actually peeking right there. Believe it or not, that's a six of clubs. All I've done is look two cards down into the deck to see what that six is going to be. And then now I have a great advantage because I know whether I'm gonna bet or not, knowing that that turn card's going to be the six of clubs. Uh, let's do it again. Here's my burn card. I deal that six of clubs. And notice as I straighten out the community cards, I can peek into the deck one more time. See that nine of clubs? I now know that we're gonna have a nine of clubs on the river, and there, in fact, it is. Oh, look at that. I got an ace-high flush. And that's peaking. Huge advantage, right?